Hello everyone, welcome to December Favorites. And first and foremost, I wanna say hello to all of my new subscribers. Many of you came over based on Christina Brawley or Christopher Allen's recommendation. And I just wanna say hello and thank you for coming over. It means a lot to me that you took the time to subscribe. And then of course, hello, hello, hello to the other 86,000 of you who have been great friends that I've never met here on my channel for many, many years for most of you. So thank you for sticking around. So this is it, the last favorites video of 2017. Um, because there are so many new people, I just want to take a minute to introduce myself. Hi, I'm Marnie. Um, I'm known as Miss Gold Girl here on the internet, and um, I am a 44-year-old mom of two boys, 16 and 19. My oldest is a sophomore at Ole Miss, University of Mississippi. My youngest is a junior in high school, and then I have a husband who's lovely and wonderful, and three dogs, two Westies and a Weimaraner. Um, and generally, some important things to know, I am very fair-skinned, I think that's obvious, and I have very dry skin, and that definitely colors the choices that I make with my makeup and my skincare. This is the time of year when this, I think the sales are better now than Black Friday time, maybe. Three in particular that I wanna highlight because I'm shopping them myself. The first one is the Nordstrom Half Yearly Sale, which has already been going on, and I believe it's over January 2nd or 3rd. I'll put the details in the description box below. Um, you can get some really amazing things, like this sweater, for instance, I believe is half off or quite a bit off. Um, Many of my favorites are um, that you've seen me wearing in videos and vlogs are on sale. So I will list a few of my faves. Everything sells out like that. So if you see something you want, grab it. And do not hesitate to ask me if you need information on sizing info. I'm always happy to help with that. The other one is Gigi New York is having a closet sale, which is also well underway. Um, and basically what they do is they're cleaning out their closet. They are getting rid of their spring and summer kind of colors and making room for the new stuff that's coming, um, I guess, for next spring. So if you like Gigi New York, you can grab some really great stuff. I picked up a few pieces from there every year. Um, and finally, for those of you who have been watching me for a long time, you know my love of the Colleen Rothschild Beauty Skincare line. It's the mainstay of my skincare, and she is having an end of the year sale as well. And I will link to that below, as well as I'd say my top five favorites. It's hard to narrow it down to five. Okay, so let's talk about favorites. Also, if you are new, I do list everything below in the description box. If you click on the show more, it gets bigger. And I link everything, and yes, the vast majority of it, all of them, of the outbound links are affiliate links. I just want to be very upfront and clear with that. Um, I always am, but if you're new, you may not know that. Okay, so let's start with beauty and let's start with drugstore. I rediscovered a favorite of mine. It's the Maybelline Dream Cushion Foundation. It's not much to look at. I do throw away the pad. The pad is useless. I just dip my kabuki stuff like flat tight, flat top kabuki style brush in here and dab it all on. My winter shade is 10, yes. Um, this is a beautiful, kind of glowy without sparkle or dewiness. Um, it's it's great coverage. It covers everything it needs to cover, but it doesn't feel heavy on the skin. The only thing I don't like about this is it's not the longest wearing. It will wear off. It's not like a long wearing. It's not marketed to be that, but you know, it'll get you through a work day if your work day is like nine to five. It's a really great foundation. And a tip that many of you gave me that I will pass along, if you think you're running out of foundation, this pad that I really don't want to touch, but you can reach in and pull it out, and um, flip it over and it's like a brand new foundation. You get a lot more use out of it. Another favorite from the drugstore that's new, um, it's new release from Milani. Um, I was grocery shopping and the whole display was untouched. I was like, oh my gosh, I got a So I did grab a few things, but the standout are these um, Color Harmony blush palettes and I picked up the berry one and I will be picking up all the other ones. Um, not inexpensive for drugstore, I can't remember. I think it's more than $10. I got a coupon for a dollar off, but do you see this ombre? It's just so pretty. It's so creamy. I'm wearing it today. I like, you have to know this about me. I like a slightly glowy blush. I'm not a big fan of matte. Um, I don't want sparkle though. And I like it very understated. I don't like a, a heavy blush color. So these are beautiful. They're pillowy soft, um, perfect glow. I just, I love how it goes on the face. And if you want it to be a little darker, put your brush on one end. If you want to go a little lighter, put your brush on the other end. I just swirl it around. Now we're moving out of the drugstore and into the department store. And speaking of which, I actually did do 
a sponsored video too, actually this month from Nordstrom. And the one that I'm really proud of is the one um, about beauty services offered at Nordstrom, both in store and out of store. Again, if you didn't know this about me, my original career was a elementary school reading specialist and second grade teacher. So my heart has always been in educating, whether it's about how to read or about makeup or what have you. So um, this particular video that I did wasn't so much about here's the stuff you should buy and here's the stuff that I love or a haul, which I like making those, don't get me wrong, but this one was really just here are the beauty services that Nordstrom offers in store. Here's some tips to get the best experience. Here's what I thought was really neat when I researched it. Here are all the things that um, they offer online that you never even have to leave your home and it's pretty neat. So please, again, I'll click link wherever. I think it's over there um, to that and please give it a watch because um, I really enjoyed making that kind of video. So part of that was um, I picked up this little guy this is from Charlotte Tilbury, and it is her luxury palette, The Golden Goddess, and I'm wearing it today. And this is one of those shadow that, um, palettes that I initially said, no way, uh-uh, because I prefer more warm tone shades, and this one in particular that looks gray taupe um, turned me off. But in fact, it's what I have on as my transition color. I'm wearing just this palette today. It's the only Charlotte Tilbury like standalone eyeshadow palette that I own from her. I own a, um, a different palette, an in look in, instant look in a palette, which I also very much love, but this is the only eyeshadow palette I have from her, and the colors blend so beautifully, and there are a myriad of ways to wear this. Um, you can wear it really soft like I'm wearing for today, or swatch, swatch, swap it around where you place the colors and smoke it out for evening, and they just blend so well, and blending is not my strong suit, so I really appreciate that. This I picked up as a recommendation from Emily Noel 83 one of my all-time favorite YouTubers here in the beauty community um, during her like best of series. And she recommended the Marc Jacobs, um, they're gel eyeliners, but they're in pencil form. And this one in particular is in the shade Earthquake, which is just a basic dark brown. What I love about this, I've been using it all month, um, it stays soft. It's It stays creamy you don't and it's self sharp it's not self sharpening but it's just the twist up but it's very long wearing it's very creamy and the color selection is amazing and then my last beauty um pick for the month my favorite is this new foundation to me it's the Lancome Tent Miracle um it says it's lit from within makeup for natural skin perfection do i look lit from within i don't know do i look perfect never but i love generally um i love i have like i said dry skin and it's glowy without like without me looking shiny or glittery or sweaty um i do have highlighter on but um i really like it i like that it's in a pump i'm in the shade 160 buff w they have a very good color range i would say uh and it's under 50 dollars which is you know not budget friendly but it's better than what i've been playing with lately so anyway um those are my beauty favorites from december 2017 let's move on to skincare so let's start with the game changer and i hesitated to try this product for many years even though so many recommended it because of the price tag i got this as a sample size like a deluxe sample size in a sephora play bag play box which i've since canceled that subscription but enough. It's the SK2 Facial Treatment Essence, and this has changed my skin. Um, the, what I am primarily looking for in skincare, I should be clear about that, um, I do Botox here, and I have had um, lip fillers back in October here. I am not looking for anti-wrinkle so much. I got that covered. What I'm looking for is fading, hyperpigmentation, evening skin tone, getting rid of flakiness, the stuff that injectables can't fix. So I reluctantly gave this a try and I can wear, I can go without makeup. In fact, Michael has frequently said to me, are you going to sleep with your makeup on? I'm like, no, 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 babe. I've washed my face. He's like, your skin, it's all even. This is pricey. Um, I got mine, I can't remember, did I, I got mine at Sephora. They also have it at Nordstrom. It's price matched either way. If you are a Costco member, they have it online at Costco, and it's $100 less for the largest size if you order it at Costco than at Nordstrom or Sephora or anywhere else they sell it. If you're not a Costco member, um, wait for a sale, I would say. But this is, oh my gosh, life-changing. 
little more budget-friendly option. I have been very dry. We have the heater running. It's cold. I live in San Antonio, Texas. Not generally cold. Today it's 37 degrees though. That's to me, I'm freezing. Um, so my face has been dry. So I've been layering this before I do my moisturizer or even on top of my moisturizer. It's an oldie but a goodie. It's the Clinique Moisture Surge Face Spray. Um, it's just a lovely mist. I think it has, I don't know what it has. It's got good stuff. Water. It has water in it. It has glycerin and very nice moisturizing properties. There's no scent, which is great with Clinique. If you have sensitive skin, it's a go-to. I just, you can spritz it over makeup if you're feeling a little cakey. And then if you watch my vlogs, um, you will know that I had, um, was cleaning out my drawers and I found my PMD that I used to use and loved. It's an at-home microdermabrasion machine. It was a major fail. I basically ripped my face to shreds. It wasn't a burn. It wasn't a rash. It was just like raw scrapes. It was terrible. My face felt like it was on fire and it looked like I was in some horrible accident. And the only thing that made it feel better and made me able to wear makeup was the La Roche-Posay Tolerien Ultra. It's a very moisturizing, very sensitive, skin-friendly, calming moisturizer. And it comes in a little pump and it was a lifesaver. So thank you, La Roche-Posay. All right, let me talk to you about, well, my hair because you're like, Marnie, it's flat. Okay, yes, one, I was wearing a hat because I just came in from outside, it's freezing. This is the my brand new, I just bought it, Paul Mitchell Neuro, I don't know if it's a flat iron or a straight iron, but it's whatever they're calling it. I'm gonna just throw away my GHD. I would never even recommend a GHD now that I know how awesome this is. I don't wanna go on and on and on, we're already like 20 minutes into this video, but it glides like silk, just zoom. It has so many heat settings. Um, the GHD is only on or off. Um, it has these curved, like beveled edges. So if I was a little more talented in the hair game, you can ease more easily do curls and waves and whatever. Um, I've just been, I just love it, and it straightens in one pass. And it's my hair is shiny. It's never shiny and soft when I straighten. And I'm sorry, but it just I love touching it right now. And um, anyway, yeah. And I'm wearing it straight like this because, like I said, it's been really cold. I've just been throwing a hat on, so there's no point in attempting to do my hair if I'm just gonna wear a hat and it's been raining and whatever. Okay, so that's it for beauty, skincare, hair care. Let's get on to everything else. First, um, this top, which is hard for you to see. I will insert a picture of me wearing it. I wore it in the um, day to night, kind of get ready with me for the holidays look. It's a neoprene material, which is like scuba material. It's from the brand Pleone. I got it at Nordstrom. It is not on sale, but it's $59. And so for a top like that, I think it's a really good price. It also comes in red and navy. Um, I'm tempted to get another one, but it's such a structurally unique top that I don't think I can get away with wearing several in the same color. So I'm gonna stick with black. Um, I dressed it up for a holiday look, but the next time I plan on wearing it with skinny jeans and um, black boots. So. Uh, it's just the sleeves are fun, but because they're structured, they won't fall in your food if you're eating, which to me makes me crazy with this bell sleeve trend. And the neoprene kind of like, just not hugs, but skims your body. So it's very flatter, flatter, figure flattering and forgiving. You can hide a lot of sins underneath that neoprene. So I'm a big fan and I have it in the size extra small. Um, Cleone tends to run big, so I always go a size down. I mentioned Christopher Allen like a lot, but I have to mention him again. If you do not subscribe to Christopher Allen's channel, you really need to. I've only been aware of him for a few weeks and his presence in my life has changed my life. Um, most noticeably, my house has never been cleaner or better decorated because of his influence. And because of that, I don't think you can see them behind me. I will insert a picture. I got the idea to put runners in my kitchen instead of the little mats that kept sliding everywhere. And I ordered two from Overstock. The shipping was super fast. They were like 35 bucks each, which is really cheap for two and a half by eight foot runners. And um, I have to say their return service is amazing. I thought I got two different colors. In actuality, I just needed to turn one around. They were facing the wrong way. We're not gonna talk about that. Um, but you can text them and not have to deal with talking on the phone and, and the waiting part. And they were like, yep, we'll send you a third one. You just pick which one you wanna return and no questions asked. So great. So I have to recommend Overstock and I'm loving those runners. Also, let's talk calendars because it is that time of year. So my all-time favorite everyday planner is the Erin Condren planner, the horizontal 
planner with the no colors, which of course I love sitting on my desk. I will put in a little picture of it. I have the marble cover. I love it. Um, that's where I keep track of everything that I have to write it down or it's like it didn't happen. I also keep track of everything on my phone and computer with an app called Cozy, C-O-Z-I, the Cozy app, and everyone in the family has it and I can't live without it. It syncs between family members, the calendars, grocery lists, what have you. But I also, like I said, I have some other planners that I use. So the first one is, I love this. This is the, well, the Karen Adams desk calendar, and I will do a close-up shot so you can actually see it. And every month you just flip through, and they're so beautiful and well done and so pretty to look at. I kind of don't know what I'm going to do with this when I'm done because they're just gorgeous. They're like little works of art, and they sit on this easel like so. And I have already ordered, once you have the easel, you don't have to keep ordering the easel. This is 2018, and I didn't want to unwrap it yet because I want it to be like a little surprise in January when I open it up. So that's that. And then I have to mention this because it is so beautiful. So this was sent to me by Gigi New York. Um, their parent company is actually Graphic Image, and they make more paper-oriented items and office-type stuff. And this is a planner, obviously. It's 2018. And this pink is just gorgeous and has the gilded... Um, leaves. I buy one of these every year to give to Michael. Obviously not the pink one. There's a size up from this in a beautiful like British tan leather that I give him. But what I've decided to do with this is um, I'm going to use it as a journal. So it's not as intimidating as having a big wide open you know whole page to write but just enough to write like the best thing that happened or something memorable that happened each day. And then the facing page for the week, I can do like a week's reflection on this whole facing page. So that is what I'm gonna do with this because it is just too beautiful not to use and it'll be a nice keepsake with this leather binding. Last thing I wanna talk about is this um, tripod because I got a lot of questions about it so I wanted to share it with you. I picked this up for Vlogmas. I didn't utilize it as much as I intended to but I really really like this tripod if you film this is a tabletop tripod I have it in its shortest um, incarnation it can get a little bit longer not a whole lot but a little bit longer and it's by the brand Redicam I think I'll link it below um, I currently have um, a, a mount for my iPhone which is did not come with this but um, I love the ease in which you can raise and lower it with this crank I like this tilty thing it's very technical. It has a level on here so you can tell if your, your camera is going to go wonky. It is great. I got it from Amazon and the price was wonderful. I am going to look into seeing if they make other ones like full size tripods because this was a great one. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you had a wonderful 2017. I cannot wait to see you all in 2018. If you're new, please introduce yourself and say hi. And again, thank you so much for all the gifts you have given me. Your presence in my life means more to me than you can ever know. Um, so be safe and I'll see you next year. Bye.